Hello and welcome to Stamping Flamingo. This is Brenda, your Stamping Flamingo Stamping Up Demonstrator. Today we're going to do a really sweet, I think it's elegant, and um, relatively easy card. Okay, so um, let's get started. Um, here's my information. Um, so this is the card that we're going to be making today, which I'm, I just love. It's very, very simple um, and elegant, I think. Just open it up and there you go. The good things in life are better with other, others. Now, we made this in card class and someone changed this to a sympathy card, which is fine. So let me just tell you what I used first. So first I used um, the Butterfly Gala, which I love. Uh, I am a monarch butterfly mother, so um, I collect eggs during the summer. Although I will say this year has been pretty slim so far, so hopefully it will get better. Um, I think this is the monarch over here, okay? So anyway, I just love butterflies and I thought I'd like to do a nice simple card and then I just used the Scripty 3D embossing folder which um, is phenomenal it's very elegant I think so let's get started so the first thing I did was and I usually have all my kits ready to go for my um, class so here is our new color which I love which is misty moonlight first I wasn't crazy about it but now I love it <laughs> especially now that I've made a, a card out of it. And then this is your, this is your seaside spray. Okay. And then um, Whisper White, which I've already embossed. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but it is embossed already. And another piece of Whisper White for the inside. And another seaside spray for the inside or actually there's two of them I'm sorry one for the front of the card and one for the inside of the card so this is the inside so we can just put this over here and here's the envelope so what we're going to first do is we're going to stamp okay our butterflies so here's the misty moonlight ink and I'm going to be putting it on the um, seaside spray. I start from the bottom. And remember when you're getting ink, you just want to make it a tap tap. Butterfly number one. looks perfect I love this stamp set you get the little butterfly and the big one here's the second one I always leave it on for a second or two just so that the ink penetrates the paper oh and look at that that one's good And here's our third one. Gonna close this up for now. We'll come back to it. And there we go. Then we have our punch. All the measurements will be on, um, actually the, the measurements I'll put on the screen for you. I forgot I was gonna do that. So here we're just going to punch these out. Now watch out because the little guy usually goes flying. There we go. <laughs> they are butterflies. They do fly. And here we go. Real easy. I think this is a really lovely card um, that's quick and easy and you can make it on the go. So 
sometimes I forget when we get to the end here, you can add a stickum to make your paper a little longer to help you line it up. And I used all three different butterflies. There's four different butterflies in the kit, or in the stamp set, I should say. So we'll just line these little guys up here because we're going to come back to those. So I just made very small strips of a black uh, cardstock, and I typically measure it from their body a little bit smaller. So I just go over here. This is one good thing about this is then I choose where I want it to be, which is right about here. I fold it over and then I have my fold. So they're kind of be, they will be a little bit stand, standard. Oh, here's the one that I started. Now I got to do is find the other ones. <laughs> standard. And then I just fold it on top of each other. Just fold and just keep on folding until you get to that end piece. Then I add just a little bit of glue. Just a drop because these are really small. Fold it over. Oh, I apologize. My hands were kind of... I was in the garden this morning. And then I typically use my tweezers to kind of hold it together for just a few minutes until it dries. Set that aside. All right. So next, we're going to glue this one down, Seaside Spray. I'm going to use my glue. I'm using glue um, now uh, more and more. You don't want to put it on real heavy or else it will bubble. Uh, but especially, it's really hot here in Baltimore. So um, I'm finding the glue actually sticks a little bit better than the tape. I'm going to put um, this pretty guy in the middle, so you just want to size these up where you want them. And remember, you can always use your grid paper if you want to get really exact. And I kind of do the less decorative one at the top, the more decorative in the middle, and then the third one I just um, is the moderate one. That way it draws your eye down, I think. I'm going to go ahead and use my dimensionals and these are the end of the pack but you know that's just me I I'm just kind of I, I've saved things I use things um, it's a little bit long so if you want to cut it off you can but we are going to have their little quilled body um, so you don't have to worry too much and I'm gonna say Fifteen. So yep, right about here. I'm gonna put it right about there. Then I'm gonna put the next little guy down here on the bottom, only so that I can um, get the middle one in in the middle. And this is just something you can eyeball. It doesn't have to be exact, but right about. here here and then I know where to put this little guy oopsie there we go keep that straight so my little butterflies are straight and I did pop them now, if you were worried about it going through the uh, mail, which sometimes I do worry, um, you can not pop it. So here's our little bodies that we use. They're kind of quilled. I'm just going to put a little glue on this body here, this body here, and this body here. And I'm just going to place them on. And I got just about, they're all about the same size. And the way that you want to put them on is so that they're standing straight up so that you can actually see the folds. 
There we go. Now just let them dry. So again, if you're worried about going through the mail, then I would maybe do the quill, quill part and not the pop-up, but it's really up to you. So you have this down. I'm gonna set this aside to dry, and then I'm going to do my stamping on this one. And what I used, I was I was just like really wanted to use this ribbon. I wasn't sure how I was gonna use it, but this is what I did, because I didn't know, I just really know, I love it. It's kind of got like a sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. So. I was trying to figure out a way to use that. So I'm going to use my tape and tear. I'm just going to tear off a small piece. And I think I'm going to put this right like that. So let's put this right here on the back. Okay. And then let's just cut this bad boy. Yep. So I hope everybody's doing well and holding up okay during this difficult time. I did have a class yesterday, which was wonderful. It was wonderful to see everyone, but uh, we did have it outside and it was very hot. And I have to say that the women I know are really, a real true purse, it was really hot. Um, and we all kept our map mask on. So I was very proud of us. So we did really well and we got to see each other. So I was really happy about that. I think they were too. It was a little hot though, definitely a little hot. Put that down like that. All right, now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put a little tape right there just to hold it, which I think it's right about, right about here. There we go. Pretty, so simple, easy peasy. Thank you for joining me today. And just remember, be a flamingo in a world of pigeons. I did have a little bit of a trivia for you also. Um, what year did scientists first discover the monarch's winter migration destination in central Mexico? You know, every year, in the in the end of summer the monarchs migrate and they discovered it in 1975 just a little piece of trivia for you there alrighty so here's our card and I love it I hope you do real simple real clean and I wish we could find our other little butterfly but it really is gone If you like my if you like my video, you can please um, subscribe. Okay, and here we can put this here and this, and join me on Facebook too. I'm a Stampin' Up demonstrator, and I'm fairly new, and I'm really new to doing videos. Uh, I have done classes in the past, um, but because of the COVID, um, I had to think creatively on what I was going to do with my business. Um, so 
I'm trying the videos. So I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed. And if you have, thank you so very much. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed spending some time with you. And please do take care. Thank you.